Right out there champs, tally ho and welcome to the show. I'm actually a little bit excited. I have a little friend here and it's the new Microsoft Surface laptop. First impressions are, this is a tiny little box. This has just been released of course. Picture on the front, Microsoft logo here. It's a pretty cool looking box. It's got like a bit of blue trim here. I got the silver model because that's all with that. It was available in Australia, of course. We treated like convicts. That's the back of it. So let's unbox it and have a look. Let me know down there in the comments what test you want me to do, whatever, and I'll see if I can help you out there, as usual. So give me a thumbs up, because I listen to you guys. So this is the i5 model, 256GB SSD and 8GB RAM. So it's sort of like the mid-level. And the i5 model has no fan. Now the reason I didn't go for the i7 that has the iris graphics and the 16 gigs RAM is because it wasn't available until August in Australia. I'm not waiting that long, seriously, come on. Very nice box. Ooh, have a look at that. Have a look at that. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Ooh. And inside here you have some sort of instructions or something maybe warranty information etc you have the power cord of course no pen it does it does work with pen but you have to buy it separately and one thing that's good about these power cords is or the power brick is USB charging from here so that's good and that uses that proprietary Microsoft connection there. Magnet, oh, I love that. Don't know why Apple got rid of their MagSafe and why other manufacturers won't do it. I know everybody's gonna go USB-C now. Well, I prefer the magnet solution. Oh, so let's have a look. First impressions is it's very light. I mean, I've been using the 15 inch MacBook Pro, which is pretty light. Pretty small for a 15 inch, but this thing here is next level in terms of lightness. And I mean, it's not the lightest in the world, but compared to a 15 inch, it is still light. Okay, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Fit and finish is beautiful on this. I mean, I've got the MacBook Pro there. I do prefer the MacBook Pro color. It's a really nice dark gray or space gray, or whatever it is. And that is like really good build quality, or should I say it's got really great fit and finish. But um, this is the equal, just having a quick look at it. Definitely looks pretty much as good as the MacBook Pro. Let's see, can I lift it with one hand? Oh, yeah. Well done, Microsoft. Oh, that Alcantara finish on the keyboard. Oh, it feels nice and warm and fuzzy. Oh, that does feel nice. Now, actually, my wife has a Surface Pro 3 and she has some sort of fabric material on her keyboard and it hasn't worn out at all. It actually looks pretty good for being three years old. So I expect this to wear really well. It looks fantastic and it does feel nice. I mean, the Dell XPS 15 has that nice soft touch with that carbon fiber. This feels nice and furry, mm, like back in the 80s. Trackpad feels nice, it's glass trackpad. This screams quality, this thing. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me do with this what test do you want me to do? I will do a gaming review. Hopefully you might be able to one overwatch. We'll have a look at that. And I just particularly want to know how hot this gets. This doesn't have a fan. And I've just been testing the MacBook Pro, which gets to 100 degrees, pretty hot, and that's got a fan in it. Well, this is an i5. It's only a dual core compared to a quad core, of course. But it's an i5, passively cooled, so no fan. So I'll be very interested to see how it performs thermally if it actually throttles. And if this doesn't throttle and the MacBook Pro with fans throttles, that's gonna be amazing achievement. 
Now, if you thought I was harsh on the MacBook Pro with all Thunderbolt ports, you won't till I get stuck into this one USB port wonder here. And the keyboard, oh, that keyboard. That feels nice. So if this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up there. I've got lots more tech content coming soon and, and make sure you leave a comment what you'd like me to do with this. And until next time, guys, tally ho.